Welcome back everybody to another addictive fishing video. Today, we're out here on the river. It's a beautiful spring day, and we thought, heck, it'd be a good day to come down and try to catch us one of my very favorite fish in the world, the old spring chinook. We got some stinky eggs, we got spinners, we got twitching jigs, and we're gonna go down the river today and try it all. Who knows what's gonna happen? My fingers crossed for a nice hatchery fish, but we might catch some steelhead. It's anybody's guess, so stick along for the ride. It's gonna be a fun day. So today I'm sticking with a pretty strict repetition of, of all the things that work for springers. I think that a lot of times with springers, it's more about whether they're there than it is what you're using. So I'm gonna be jumping around the river, fishing as much water as I possibly can by myself, and seeing if we can't find one of these butter balls for dinner tonight, and hopefully have a little recipe for you guys at the end of the day. Everybody, we're getting down into salmon heaven now. You can see throughout today I've been really sticking with these twitching jigs. And mainly it's because we're kind of the last ones down the river. There was people parked at every single one of these spots as we made our way up. A lot of them I'm sure just soaked eggs in these holes all morning. So I'm not really going with that bait setup. Plus I don't really want to mess with it. And the twitching jigs working so good is like a cleanup method. So I'm just spending a couple minutes at every spot, going to every hole and I can't see the bottom basically. What the heck was that? Going to every hole I basically can't see the bottom and just doing my best to cover it quickly and then move on. Rivers like this, especially you know this time of year when they're still up a little bit, we still have quite a bit of water in the system, it can be really hard to fish it alone because there's a lot of water to fish, let alone I'm trying to row at the same time. So I'm just getting good casts into good spots and it seems to be working. So this hole looks like it's gonna have one. There he was. Pardon my English, everybody. Just hooked, oh, that was such a good grab. Such a good grab and I missed him. Dang it. So I've just kept working down here and really a lot of times with these twitching jigs, just switching angle on the holes. I just hooked one from the other side here a few minutes ago, lost it. Now I moved to this other side, going at the exact same spot that I hooked that first fish and just got slammed. Dang it. I was not ready for that. Oh, we'll, we'll see. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a nice one. Yeah, we'll see. A couple, I'm sure, a week or two. I think I'll be able to tail him right here. everybody let's send him home thank you so much little girl what's that what's that this oh is it god forbid anybody have fun right what? only you should have fun it's only it's this is your world oh that's what you're insisting yeah it is god forbid anybody else go out and enjoy themselves because this is your river no, it's, what are you saying then? You're all oh, a piece of shit. Look who's up there talking shit about us teaching people how to enjoy themselves. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're standing here because why? What's that? A lot. So people can go have fun. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I just hate people like you who talk shit because we're teaching people how to enjoy themselves. Exactly. Go have a fucking miserable life. Okay. And you're a loser. All right, I will. I'll be there tomorrow and then I'll be back here the next day showing everybody how to catch them. Well, I hope you guys liked that little incident there. 
we got a little chat or Karen or whatever you want to call him up here on the bank or D-bag. I don't know. Don't want to get too graphic with you guys, but he was obviously offended that we were out here having fun and teaching you addicts out there how to enjoy life a little bit. He thinks the river is all his, and there's a lot of people out there like that. And when I get the chance to really tear people up like that, I love to take it because you know what? There's a lot of people in this world that don't know how to have this kind of fun, and we're happy to share it with you guys and allow you to see another way of life and how to go out and enjoy yourself and love Mother Nature the way we do. People like that is what's ruining fishing, and people like that is what's ruining the outdoors and the entire community that we have. So it's a huge thanks to you addicts out there for supporting us and not being like that guy right there so we can all go out here and have fun together. migrating migrating up guys this is a good fish this is a good fish just caught a different angle on this fish guys basically all I did was move the boat uh oh I'm moving again not anchor I just moved the boat just enough to get myself to where I could get to the bottom of this hole oh god okay this is gonna be interesting guys I gotta pull my anchor and I gotta oh, oh. I gotta row myself to the bank Okay, here we go. Here we go. Comment below, guys. What do you think of this whole operation? Oh, he's going. He's going hard. Oh, there he goes. Okay, I'm gonna hop out, everybody. Oh, this is a big fish, everybody. He's trying to run me out the back of that rapid, so I'm literally, I got my hand on my spool. I'm just trying to work him back up here. He's in shallow water now, so it's gonna be really hard to turn him around, but I'm just gonna keep trying to work him, keep trying to work him back up across his flat so that he doesn't take off to that next rapid and absolutely burn me. I got quite a bit of line left. Oh. Look at him down there. Oh, oh Kim! Oh. Uh-oh, he's wrapped. Oh, he's wrapped around the grass. Oh, there he goes. Dang it, everybody. Just got my ass kicked. Maybe going to the bank wasn't the right idea. Whew, what a battle. What a bummer, everybody. Comment below with what you just thought of that fight. That was totally insane. All I did was change angle. Once again, I moved down river. I made the same style of cast I've been making. Made like three twitches and that thing slammed it. And I knew it was big because it ran straight up river first. And I think the decision where I messed up here was one, I didn't have another guy in the boat. I should have probably tried to chase that thing down river, but I don't know how I would have managed to land that thing rowing and holding that rod like that. But that fish totally kicked my ass. Let's catch another one. Of course, so that was my very last nightmare jig. Story of my life. That nightmare tail out twitcher is just a killer. Well, sayonara to that fish. Let's go find a new hole. Spongy. Whoa, got fooled by the fishing line, everybody. A lot of times when you're twitching these jigs like this, and especially for the springers, a lot of them, a lot of them are bigger fish. So when you lift up, you feel that fish and that thud, but you also feel like almost like an elastic rubber band, like where that that line almost gives a little bit. So that time when I lifted, I think I hooked into somebody's old fishing line down there, and that's all I felt was that stretch, and uh, I thought it was on. Man, if I get three fish today on a twitching jig, I'm gonna be so proud of you guys. Well, what a day, everybody. We had heartache, 
We had success, we had drama, got in fights, caught fish. Absolutely just a perfect spring day out on the water if you ask me. And I must say, I sure appreciate you addicts being along for the ride with us. Like I said earlier, after arguing with that guy, this is a world that everybody owns. We're out here to enjoy this beauty of mother nature all together, and no one single person should have it all of themselves. That's not how this stuff works. Without all of us working together, we wouldn't have beautiful places like this. So if you guys wanna see more awesome vlog videos just like this one, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn your bells on, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you think, and be sure to comment below and you can be the comment of the day just like this person right here. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. You stay fishy, we'll see you out there.